Okay, we're going to get things fired up today. We're going to talk about a couple of new items today. We're going to talk about the tree diagrams. And then we're going to talk about the counting principle. Okay, we've got two topics today. So make sure you got your notebook out, got your pencils or pens or whatever you're using. Okay, and then we're going to do tree diagrams and counting principle. Hope you feel all right. I'm back to being my old normal crazy self, which is good. If you know this song, you can send it to me. I'll cut it off here for a minute. All right, here we go. So uh, you guys are going to be working on some pages that look like this. Okay, we're going to have some some of the one. I'm not sure which one we're going to do which day, but you're going to have one like that, and you're going to have one like that. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that here in the next few minutes. All right, let's start with tree diagrams. Tree diagrams. <laughs> All right, so. Maybe you've been out hanging out in the trees here lately. Of course, you know trees have got branches. Okay, so in these kind of questions, they're going to ask you things like this. Okay, so they're going to ask you about how many choices. Are there? And in that, what you're really doing is finding out all the possible outcomes. So that either in both of these situations, whether it's the tree diagram or the counting principle, what we're figuring out here is possible number of outcomes. Okay? So you're hear me, you'll hear me talk you'll hear me talk about possible outcomes and that's just meaning how many different options there are. Okay? So let's say you went and you were going to get breakfast, okay? And here's your meat choices. So for breakfast, let's say of course you can get bacon, you get ham, you get sausage. Okay. If you're hungry, this lesson is probably not going to help you out very much. All right. Let's say in uh, the potato category, I have to spell potato, potato, right? I don't know. Potato, probably not. All right. Uh, let's say you can get a hash brown or you can get fries. All right. And then let's say we go to, we got the meat, we got the potato. And then let's say, of course, let's say you got your drink choices. I uh, say I'm a I'm a I'm a water and sweet tea guy. So I say we'll do water, tea, coffee, or juice. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you the tree diagram of how this would work. Okay. So you're gonna write down each one of the meats down here, and then we're gonna have branches coming off of those for the potatoes and then off each one of those branches we're going to have the drinks and then we'll figure out how many total possible breakfast choices there are and that will give us the number of possible outcomes okay so you're going to need quite a bit of space for this on your paper okay so don't try to jam all this in a little big tiny space you're going to leave some space here so right here i'm going to put bacon as my first meat and i'm going to leave me a couple spaces actually i do one two three i'll leave three spaces and i'm going to come down here and do ham i'm going to come here and do ham that's one, two, three. All right, and I'm going to leave three more spaces. One, two, three. Then I'm going to come down here and write sausage. Okay? Everybody see that all right? Now, I'm going to come off that with two little branches, okay? Two branches, two branches, two branches. Okay? So here I've got hash brown. I'm just going to put HB for hash brown. I'm going to try to make it simpler for you. And F for fries. Okay? Hash brown fries hash brown fries okay now if you want to write the words out you're totally fine with that I mean I'm good with that but we'll just go with HB and F so you could have at this point you got have bacon with hash brown bacon with fries ham with hash brown ham with fries sausage with half brown <laughs> and sausage with fries so at the moment we would have six outcomes okay but now we're going to put our drink choices on the end of that and there are four of those so off of each one of these you got to have four little branches. One, two, three, four. 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 And one, two, three, four. Okay? So again, I'm just going to do W, T, C, and J for water, tea, coffee, or juice. So water, tea, coffee, juice water tea coffee juice water tea coffee juice water tea coffee juice 
water, tea, coffee, juice, water, tea, coffee, juice. Okay. Now, I'm going to slide it up so you can see all that. See so why I said you need some space? you got to have enough space to put all these branches out there. So now I'm, I'm not going to go through all three of these, but I'll just read off the bacon one. Okay. So you could have a bacon with hash browns and water, bacon, hash browns, tea, bacon, hash browns, coffee, bacon, hash browns, juice. So that's four of them, right? Bacon fries water, bacon fries tea, bacon fries coffee, bacon fries juice. That's four of them. Okay, so you can do the same thing and go through all these. So there's ham, hash browns, and then those options is four. Ham fries and those options is four. Sausage hash browns, those four. Sausage fries, those four. So you got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 total choices. Okay, or 24 total possible outcomes or 24 total possible breakfast choices okay so you can see this is called the tree diagram and we're figuring out how many choices there are and off each one of these we've got all these little branches coming off so remember the tree has got branches okay the tree has got little branches so it's not super hard. It does take a little bit of time to draw it all out to make it look right. So that's what that looks like in the tree diagram. Okay, before we get into the counting principle, which is the easier one of the two, of course, let me go to my man for the riddle of the day. All right. Hello, people. I'm back. Hope you had a nice holiday. Today's riddle of the day is what do snowmen eat for breakfast? Or I don't know if you've had breakfast today or not, but if you haven't, uh, you know, you might need to unless you're getting up at 12 o'clock and uh, you're past breakfast already. Uh, but snowmen don't eat bacon and french fries and drink co coffee, of course. That would melt them. So what do snowmen eat for breakfast is your riddle of the day. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Ciao for now. All right. So now I'm going to go real fast and hit this and... Uh, just go back up here and talk about how to do a counting principle. Okay, so number two is the counting principle. Now, some of these questions you only can do the counting principle. Like this one right here, you can do a tree diagram for this and get away with it. But if they get much bigger than this, you know, I'm not going to make you guys do a tree diagram because it take up modeling maybe one sheet of paper. It might take up two sheets of paper and, you know, I don't want to have all those branches going everywhere so if we go back up here you'll see that under the meat category we have three meats under the potato category we had two choice of potato the fries or hash browns under the drink category of course we had four different types of drink to choose from between water tea coffee juice so what you would want to do with these okay the three the two and the four okay you'd say all right so I got three oops, I'm up there I got three meats, I got two potatoes, I got four drinks, and we are just going to multiply those items together. So three times two, of course, is six, and six times four gives you a grand total again of 24 outcomes. So on the counting principle, multiply each group together. Okay, so again, three meats, two taters, four drinks, three times two, six, six times four, 24. One of my favorite numbers, 24. Yes, indeedy. All right, so that's the counting principle. So let me look here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this side first, okay, the one that's got the two spinners up here. And we are going to do on this side, okay, this side is the one uh, we are going to do Column. We're going to do tree diagrams for I, E, R, A, and C. And then over here on this side, on the right hand column, we are going to do the counting principle. And I'm going to do one of each with, the, with you right now. Okay? So to finish it up here, yeah, we're about the 10 minute mark, so it should just take a couple of minutes and do one of these. And then we should be 
let's do letter R right here about Mr. and Mrs. Quagmire. They're getting ready to have a new baby, and they've got, it says for a first name, they've got Melissa, Jennifer, Karen, Lisa, or Susan. And then for the middle name choices, they like either Ann or Jean. Okay, so I'm going to come right over here, and I'm going to do a little tree diagram for that. So if you've watched it up to this point, thank you for watching. And this will help you out on letter R. All right, again, I'm just going to use the first initial of the first name instead of writing the whole thing out. So we've got Melissa, we got Jennifer, we got Karen, we got Lisa, we got Susan. Okay, so there are the first names. That's is that blurry? Looks blurry to me. All right, off of each one of these, we need to have two branches. Okay. Because it says the middle name can either be Ann or Jean. So we need to have two branches. Ann or Jean. Ann or Jean. Ann or Jean. Ann or Jean. And Susan Ann or Susan Jean. Okay. So then we just come out here to the very end and we count up what we got. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten possible names here for their girl, 10 possible outcomes is what we actually use in the probability world, 10. So then I see that of course this was letter R and I come down here to where the answer 10 is located, which is here, and I put the letter R here, okay? So is there another 10? That's the only 10 I see. Okay, now that's how you do it with the tree diagram on letter R. So let's come over here and do one of the ones on the right hand side for the counting principle. Okay. And I'm a pizza guy. Okay. I like pizza. So let's do letter T right here. Okay. The pizza mine, pizza parlor has eight kinds of pizza, three kinds of salad, four kinds of beverages. If you ordered one item for each category, how many different meals can be ordered? Okay. So for letter T, we would definitely not want to do a tree diagram. Okay. So this is called the counting principle that we're going to do for this one. All right, and it says they've got eight kinds of pizza, three kinds of salad, and four kinds of beverages. Okay, so you just take each one of those categories there, and we're going to multiply them together. So you can do eight times three, which of course is 24, and 24 times four, you can do it that way. You can do three times four is 12, and 12 times eight, whichever way you want to do it. It all ends up being the same answer, which is 96 possible outcomes okay is that isn't that crazy 96 different ways you could order that meal at the pizza place all right and then if you uh go down here and let's see if there's a 96 this one was letter t so right there's 96 we'd put our letter t right there for that one okay so don't forget over here on the left hand side we're doing tree diagrams over here we got the counting principle on the right hand side Make sure you send me a picture. Send me a picture of your stuff. I definitely want to see your tree diagrams for sure. Okay. Send the picture. All right. And don't forget if you know the answer to the riddle, you can send me that. Hope the people are doing all right. We kept it here less than 15 minutes is what I was after. So good luck with the tree diagrams and the counting principle. And of course, if you come down here and make sure your answers are down here and find those. And if you got any questions, let me know. Until next time, people. Adios and sayonara till tomorrow. This is Mr. Reed saying over and out. Ciao for now.